So I have experience of handling the inspection and the maintenance of high voltage equipment using the VR Google. Also, I can access the content anywhere and everywhere with the help of internet connection. This is my first time using this VR. I'm so excited using this VR. We are able to interact with the content uh, without any risk of high voltage. This VR made me love with the topic more. Yeah, I'm very excited using this VR for reality uh, and I hope more subject using the VR for the future. The virtual reality application really help with the teaching and learning process in the classroom. The creative content and the interactive video really help the student to understand the topic better. Furthermore, the content can be assessed widely as long as the student have the internet and it can be viewed Besides using the virtual reality goggle, they can view the content using the handphones. It also supports the national policy which is Industrial Revolution 4.0. Polytechnic Sultan Azlan Shah, as a provider of technical and vocational education and training, TVET, needs to produce skilled students with an experience of handling high-voltage equipment in electrical substations before they go through a real work environment after graduation. Knowledge of the equipment and its operation is the foundation required by professional users in this field. Unfortunately, this could not be realized due to safety issues as well as a competent person needed for handling high-voltage equipment, according to Energy Commission. In PISAS, it is almost impossible to bring the students into the electrical substation, except by taking them using a virtual tour experience. For this innovation product, inspection and maintenance of distribution substation 11-0.4 kV topic has been selected and coincide with the current Malaysian Polytechnic curriculum. The virtual tour application has been developed to help students explore virtual situations or scenes that are impossible to assess and involve high voltage equipment in the real world. It is difficult for a student and an engineer to practice at a real substation due to safety factors. The substation can only be assessed by competent person, certified by Suruhan Jaya Tenaga. Therefore, to provide this experience, a 360-degree virtual tour application was developed to provide a learning experience to the user. By experience the 360-degree video, students will be exposed to the real experience and feeling of presence as well as not exposed to high voltage hazards. This application was developed using the MAD model. The MAD model was chosen because each phase is clear and guides the development process of a new multimedia-based edu educational software. There are five phases in this model, which are analyze phase, design phase, development phase, imp implementation phase, and evaluation phase. MAD is designed and modified from the existing AD model specifically for the development of multimedia educational software. The analysis phase is the earliest in the development of this application. It provides an overview of the applications developed. Based on the preliminary study, the title inspection and maintenance of distribution substation 11 0 0.0 kV has been selected and consists of the main subcontent. Preparation, PPE and tools, inspection procedures, single line diagram and maintenance. 
a competent person from Syarikat Elektrik Jamaluddin Sendirian Berhad has been appointed along with lecturers in the Electrical Engineering Department to develop materials and application. The target user is among the Electrical Engineering students. Simulation is a learning environment that describes the actual method with the help of computer software, while drill exercise is an information repetition approach to familiarize students with the topic. In this case, uh, simulation and drill exercises are used as an operating method, while the learning methods involve are self-learning and collaboration. Students need to use the HMD and assess the application individually, but can collaborate with their peers to complete the task assigned while using the application. Substation 5 in PISAS has been selected as the location for 360-degree video filming for this study. The hardware used to record video is a 360-degree camera with tripod, while the software used to develop this application is Wanda VR. Users only need a smartphone, HMD, and internet line to assess the learning content in this application. HMD will provide users the feel of present in a substation environment while using the application and they are cheaper and more sophisticated than they were years ago. Second phase, the design phase. The design phase is the phase that should visualize, navigate and shape the interface or display of the application developed. In other words, during this phase, there is a process of transferring the information that has been collected and translated into storyline form. The third phase is the development phase. In this phase, the development of the application is based on the stipulations in the design phase. All sketches or storylines need to be followed so that in line with the content to be presented. This application has been set to be online to make it easier for students to assess the content without having to download the application into their phones. The last phase, implementation and evaluation phase. In this phase, the completed application will be run and tested against the target user. The students will be given a link to the application and browse the entire content based on the sequence of content. Then, students will answer the questionnaire provided. Students also need to complete the assignments given. Users can assess these topics or sections by placing the small white dot in the center of the hotspot in the application. They need to move their heads up and down and turn their body around 360 degrees to move the white dot. Before that, the users need to set their smartphone to VR mode or split screen and place it in the HMD. The use of HMD is necessary to give the effect as present in the virtual electrical substation. Users can experience the real maintenance procedure in a 360-degree environment in this virtual tour application. The project course is fully sponsored by the Department of Polytechnic Education, the cost is around 5,000 ringgit Malaysia, which covers the cost for the Wanda VR software and development process. This innovation project took 10 weeks from planning until completion. The 360-degree virtual tour application, inspection and maintenance of distribution substation 11-0.4 kV has successfully developed and the usability and user satisfaction study has been conducted to the students. Usability and user satisfaction study was conducted to the 31 electrical engineering students in PISAS. Students were able to experience of handling the inspection and maintenance of high voltage equipment virtually, assess the content anywhere and anytime with the help of internet, interact with the content without risk of high voltage, develop more interest on the topic with the help of interactive content. The research paper of this product has been presented in Virtual Conference Green Tech 2020 national level. This application has been recognized by the Jabatan Pendidikan Polytechnic College Community JPPKK Malaysia and can be accessed through their website. This virtual tour application material has also been the basis of TVET Applied Research Grant Scheme, TARGS, awarded by the JPPKK in the form of 3D virtual reality.
the 360 degree virtual tour application, inspection and maintenance of distribution substation, level slash 0.4 kilovolt has successfully been developed and used by the students and lecturer for course electrical maintenance and repair, specifically for topic inspection and maintenance of distribution substation, 11 slash 0.4 kilovolt based on the usability and user satisfaction study that was conducted to the students, student acceptance is high, which is above the mean score value of 3.68.